Lanthanum is a rare earth element, and it is the first element in the lanthanide series. It has an atomic number of 57, and it was first discovered by a Swedish chemist, Carl Gustav Mosander, in 1849. But pure lanthanum wasn't obtained until 1923. Today, lanthanum is most commonly used in the production of tanks and electrodes, scintillators, and in the past it was added to some vintage lenses. In nature, there are two isotopes of lanthanum, lanthanum-149 and lanthanum-138, which has an abundance of 0.09% and it is also radioactive. Lanthanum-148 has a very long half-life, and its activity cannot be easily detected with a conventional Geiger counter. In order to do that, a large scintillator must be used, since it is much more sensitive. Unfortunately, my sample of lanthanum is pretty small, and my setup isn't sensitive enough to detect it. So I reached out to my friend, Giga Beccaro, who has kindly provided a gamma spectrum of his lanthanum sample. A gamma spectroscopy reveals two peaks at 789 keV and 1436 keV, which are both caused by the decay of lanthanum-138 through electron capture or by beta emission and in both cases a gamma ray is also released. Lanthanum bromide scintillation crystals are well known for their incredible resolution, which measures as low as 2.2% at 662 keV. And since they have a relatively low price compared to other high-resolution detectors, they are a viable option for amateur gamma spectroscopy setups. These crystals, however, are not perfect. Due to the lanthanum content, they are slightly radioactive themselves, which causes them to self-generate a characteristic background spectrum that must be removed if measuring low-activity samples. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee. And remember, stay active!